but what is it actually doing to our brains? To find out, Dr. Pixie has volunteered to embark on a drinking session with a difference, with the help of neuropsychologist Dr. David Lewis. Hi, David, I'm Pixie. Hi, nice to see you. We're attaching specialist monitoring equipment to Dr. Pixie's body and brain so that Dr. Lewis's assistant can measure how her brain behaves under the influence of six units of neat vodka. A unit is the amount of alcohol a healthy adult can break down in one hour. People tend to think of alcohol as something which stimulates you. In fact, it's a sedative. So what I would expect to see with this is a slowing down of a lot of her basic functions. Ready for your second yeah. drink? Okay. Women, of course, tend to become intoxicated much faster than men. Their body doesn't metabolise. I'm Irish, though. Never know. Mm. Might be here for some time. <laughs> <laughs> Two shots down the hatch, and the graphs are showing that the vodka is already starting to kick in. Your heart rate is still quite high. However, your skin temperature is uh, at 92 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately, and your skin conductance indicates that you are in a, in a very relaxed no. bodily state. <laughs> and one of the parts of the brain which is affected um, is what we call the cerebellum, the little brain, which is at the, back of your, at the back of your brain, and that controls your balance. And of course, that's why boxers become punch drunk, because that little brain, the cerebellum, is damaged by repeated blows to the head. Oh, I've got a bit of another one. <laughs> You're getting into the swing of it Yeah. Now. Dr. Pixie takes another three of these blows to the head. Well, this is kind of hardcore drinking for the sake of drinking. So how are you feeling now, Pixie? I'm feeling a little bit squiffy, actually. Mm, right. <laughs> Could you say, Sister Susie sewing shirts for sailors? Sister Susie sewing shirts? <laughs> no. OK. <laughs> but the most telling evidence comes from Dr Lewis's technician who's been analysing Dr Pixie's brain activity her brain has actually started to shut down. If we actually look here on the left, uh, this was when um, Pixie was actually rather sober. And um, you can see that her beta activity is quite high. She's reasonably alert. Now, uh, in the middle, we see here, uh, three shots later, that her beta activity has become somewhat diminished. From sober via three shots onto six shots, her brain uh, capacity to act is becoming significantly diminished. So we've seen how excessive drinking causes the mind to shut down, causing some short-term embarrassing behaviour. But excessive binge drinking is also thought to destroy brain cells, which in the long term can cause permanent damage to the brain. Most people think of alcohol and liver, and actually what I've learned today is alcohol and brain, big time.